Welcome back, YouTube. Progress has been made. Got the framing problem straightened out, so now it was time to put the paneling on the outside. This is some eighth inch thick wood paneling I got from Home Depot, and it was about $10 a sheet. I thought that was a pretty good price. So I put a couple of two by twos underneath the floor for the panel to rest on while I traced out the shape of the panel. And then I put the panel up on my workbench and cut out the shape. I used my homemade track for my saw to make the straight cuts. You can see underneath my panel, I'm using a one inch thick piece of foam insulation to protect my tabletop while I cut out the paneling. Once the panel was cut, we put it up on the framing and I'm using a air stapler to staple it to the frame. If you use a staple gun to put this paneling up, you'll see why they staple RVs and pop-up tents together rather than screw them together. It is so much faster to use a staple gun. On the sides, I had to use two pieces because one piece of eight foot long paneling will not cover the whole length of the trailer. Showing you on the passenger side, the small panel in front of the door, and you can see how I'm tracing it out and fitting it from the inside. Staples I'm using are about three quarter inches long and so if you miss a stud, they're gonna stick out through the paneling. It shouldn't matter, but it's just something to be aware of. Keep your fingers out of the way and make sure you're not gonna staple yourself. This trailer didn't come with paneling on each end, but I decided to add it anyway. I didn't show it, but I just wanted to point it out. I think it's gonna help keep each end a little bit more weather tight. When I last left you, I was talking to you about the tow boards. Well, I determined through my pictures and videos that the back had a small tow board and the tow boards that I put in was way too big. So I pulled them out and replaced them with a very small piece of, looks like about one by two. As far as the front, there was no tow board at all. And so I was able to rearrange everything so that it would not need a tow board in that area. And giving you the view of the interior with all the framing done and all the paneling done. Now we're ready for the vapor barrier. I'm using 30 pound roofing felt. I started by cutting a piece that was too long and fitting it on the front of the trailer. I'm going to use a staple gun with some T50 staples. These are wider staples than I used with the paneling and they're only gonna be about a quarter inch long. So they're not gonna go in very deep, but they are gonna be wider to hold this felt paper up. This piece of felt paper is oversized. So the object here is to get this thing stapled up and smoothed out and then trim it to size.
I started at the bottom and smoothed it out. Also, you'll see that I stapled the middle before I stapled the sides. I want to smooth it out from the middle outward. Once the sides and the top were stapled in place, it was time to trim it. I used the top board as a guide to help me trim the top of that felt paper. You'll also notice that on the sides, I trimmed it a little wide, and that was so that it would fold over on the corners. Now I'm folding over the edges on each side and stapling them as well. I did this for both sides in the front and the back. I'm not gonna show me doing them all to you, you just smooth them out, staple them on. They go on very easily, and it helps to seal up the trailer. It's gonna be a barrier between the paneling and the aluminum siding. Now the trailer is ready to put the aluminum skin on the outside. Thanks for watching. I've got more to come.